My name is Barbara Essis, and I do events for a living. I'm Ruthie Hecht. I'm an event planner, and I work with and for my mother. We're going to teach you the do's and don'ts for the perfect wedding. The day after wedding, it's fabulous to make a brunch because everybody comes and everybody's got a big smile on their face. The wedding's over, the pressure's off, the bride and groom are married, everybody comes 99% casual, and it's just a fun thing to have. Firstly, brunch food is delicious. That's probably most people's favorite meal of the day. And the kind of food you can serve is just fun. So you can have a good time with picking a menu. Secondly, you can put pictures on a um, a laptop or on an iPad and everybody loves seeing themselves from the night before. It gives everybody a chance to relive the evening, it gives the bride and groom a chance to have another contact with their guests. It doesn't have to be fancy, it doesn't have to be flowered up, although it's a good idea to ask the florist to take the flowers from the night before, refix them and drop them off wherever your brunch is being held. And always have a photographer, whether it's a friend or relative but it's fun to have those pictures because it's casual and it's light. Having a brunch is a really really good idea because it finishes off the wedding event on a very very high note.